Hello guys and welcome to Shadow Steel's How To. Today we're going to focus on playing o Train Fever. I almost said Open TTD. It's been a while since I've played that, so... We're going to do what is known. We're going to try and show you how to do the play the basics of Train Fever. So first off, make sure you open up your Industries windows by using this little button right here. There's Show or Hide List of Industries and always look for the ones that are producing highly already. Now if you can't really, if you don't want to open this up, go to this little tab down here and click Cargo. This will automatically show you where the goods are being produced and shipped via road. So, it looks like we've got sawmills, Let's go to this forest down here because that's producing quite well. So naturally, normally, like Open TTD, you think that you should start with industries first. Well, that's not really the case in this game. In this game, you're gonna have to focus on supplying the passengers first before you start supplying goods. The reason for that is because this game has a unique way of playing out. Unlike OpenTDD, the most money you can get is by passengers. And that's, and that's how I'm going to start this game off with. First off, start upgrading the roads around a town you want to want to build around. So, like this one right here, I'm going to build. Very close though. So I'm going to upgrade these two roads here, and then we're going to build a loop as I call it, around around the city. That way we can we have a kind of a ring of where we want our stations and equipment to go. So oops, there we go again. I have a fix fuck. There we go. Yeah. On occasion, you'll find these little things. Just connect them up real quick like that. It's not that hard. Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. Now, the way this game is made was is actually quite interesting here. So, naturally, once you get some of these um, connections made, the... People will automatically start trying to use them as much as they can. Fuck me. Fuck, what the hell is going on? There we go. There we go. Now, another thing about this game is that it will try and build tunnels if the um, terrain, like for instance right there, we have an issue. Now, I don't know why this occurs, all I know is that the, um, there's no way to fix, in my mind, there's no way to fix it because I haven't been able to fix it either way. So, if you, you get that, just b demolish and build again. Alright. Oh, shit. Fuck! Alrighty, We're almost done here, guys. There we go. Now, once that's done, connect all the interconnecting points, so like here and here. That will do. Now, sometimes you'll get like these big gaps. The well, the city will start connecting that automatically. But if you get areas like this, connect them up as best you can. Here and here. Now the reason you want to do this is because the city will start to grow automatically if it's supplied with goods. So for instance, this city is already being supplied with goods via the sawmill we were at. The lumber mill and the sawmill that we were at. So see how this cargo is being moved. It's being moved to this sawmill here. Some of the goods are being moved this way. Some of the goods are being moved this way. So we now have a uh, I guess a ring you would call it around the city. Next up, to build, really start using it, click on land use, 
you'll start to see like green, blue, red, and yellow. And, uh, and it says right here is what your land use is. So green is for passengers, residential. So we're gonna build a well, you could do with trams or buses. I'll do trams for this city. And I'll show you buses later. You want to build it somewhere on the outskirts of the city so you can build your passenger station right next to it. So, you also want to make sure you have this somewhat future proof. You can't upgrade stations like you do on um, OpenTTD. So, naturally, you're going to have to figure out. Um, a way to upgrade it if the money if your station needs it so right now I'm getting a little bit more money so I can start building go all right we don't need this anymore because we know what industries are producing what's supply so we have our bus de bus slash train depot and we have our train depot we'll fix this up later but I want to make sure I get this all set up too so let's do that real quick. Once again, we're going to have to upgrade the two outer roads here. Here, looks like we don't have to upgrade any of the other ones. This one's on the corner, so we can just build around that. And if you've been wondering what's on this little corner where my face cam is at, that's just the music and menu. So, like, if I go right here and pause it, that, that turns off the music, but, um, I don't think I really need to do that. This music, I don't see anybody getting copyright complaints on YouTube. Fuck. There we go. Now, um, passengers, again, will be the most money, but just like an open TTD, coal oil also seem to produce a lot of money if you can manage to get the higher supply industries so right now we're just building our loop build our connections here 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 now again you'll notice that uh, this little section is wide enough where we can actually build uh, apparently I got the curve thing going on now fuck what the hell is going on oh, let's do it this way now we got this little section, little gap here that's wide enough for us to um, build a little area here. Same thing goes on over here. Fuck. Why is it doing that? I need to report that. I don't know why it does that. I don't know why, why it acts up like that, but it's so annoying. I've already taken a screenshot to show off, show off to the creators of this game that we might have a problem with the... Uh, this anyway so naturally this will start growing in a separate way than the rest of the town and you'll also like if you can like right now it doesn't look like we can build a large a medium road there but we could probably build a smaller road apparently not okay what the hell eh never mind okay so we got that now we're gonna have to build once again the train station and the tram station we're gonna have to find a place where the land doesn't really cut in as much, so here's good. Next we build our bus depot this time because we're not building trams. And um, there we go. Now over here you can see that the production is starting to ramp up a bit. Now these won't upgrade until a line is connected to them and they start produ and you start supplying them. So Next up, we're going to build our stations. 
for the bus depot and train depot. So, when you start, make sure you get every colored area rather than just the green. Because when you send pa when you get passengers from the train station, they'll go here and they'll go to their place of work or place of business or you know the helm, and um, they will try to take the quickest route. And that quickest route is a bus or a train tram. They rel they decide to go that way and use your lines. Now it gets harder and harder over time because they'll start they'll eventually have cars and buses uh, they'll have cars and trucks so naturally you'll want to try and do and um, keep them using your lines as much as possible I've had a couple times where the um, vehicle like passengers will actively use a car to get from one city to the other rather than using the train that I've created for them so this is fairly complicated when you start this. There we go. I guess we'll do a final stop here. Now, next up, you want to build the tram track. This is a little different from Open TTD. You don't drag and drop tram tracks. You actually have to click in place. Now, if you're using other, if you're using mods, this game actually has an active system where if you use a mod, you actually can't get achievements. Now, that's oh well and good if you don't care about achievements, but sometimes with easy achievements like on this game, there's plenty of easy achievements at the very beginning. You're not going to be able to get them even if you have the mods off. Like, if you had the mods active on the game, the mods will automatically, even if you take them down, will automatically disable any achievements. In fact, you'll see that in the save game file, but in the save game file, you can actually disable the mods, man, by just clicking, you know, add or remove or whatever. And um, when you go into that file and say, remove this mod it will still say achievements you cannot earn achievements mods have been active on this game so all right so we now have that all set up we'll build a tram depot next the trams depot next now here's the complicated bit when building a line you actually have to put click this little tab here and then start selecting the stations this will automatically build a route for the trams. I can't. It's a similar concept to OpenTTD, but um, it is just basically your goal. It's a little different. There's only a few different. Get out of the shot! Sorry about that, guys. My dog jumped in the bed. So annoying. Sometimes you'll get situations where you don't use the station. That's okay. Normally, if the route starts getting more and more congested, you can actually add the station later. So, for instance, that's going that way. And we won't just we just won't use that station that we placed. In fact, this kind of shows off one of the um, features of this game is that you can actually remove these little stops. And um, depending on which side you disable, you actually can get the entirety of the um, the station to be demolished. Now, just for ease of remembering this, I'm gonna name this line 
Wimbledon line one. And that will be our tram line. Now, you can set up the trams however you want, but I like to build five trams per line. So, for instance, this one, we'll use these guys, set up five of them. Now, over time, that starts giving us money. And, um, because these are so light, I mean, they can only hold five, nine passengers. So nat naturally, you're gonna have to have enough passengers to start making money. So now, so now we build our bus line over here, and because we don't need to worry about tram tracks, we'll just build our bus depot there, and then just start building the stops. Once again, following the same route, as, same idea as last time, you're gonna have to build bus depots on all the colored areas. Oh, excuse me, guys. I just had some Diet Coke before recording here. <laughs> Alright. Now, notice that the goods are, in this game, are just being supplied directly to this town. We'll get to that in another episode, but right now, let's focus on building the passenger line. Nope. Now occasionally you'll notice that this does the station doesn't show up on a certain section of the road. That's because this is a, where a joint is. See, that's where one joint jo is and there's the other joint. Now we'll set, set, sometimes pop it over there too, but... It's really confusing sometimes, but you just have to sort of adjust to it, so... There we go. Now... It's gonna be a while before we get everything set up, but... Yeah, we got another section that's kind of blocked. There we go. Now, when you place the stations, you'll notice that people just randomly disappear. It's because they're resetting the area for the use of a station. So, let's build one here as well because we got some traffic. There we go. Alright. Now we set up the line just like we did last time. Click this window, click, then click new line, and then just start placing stations. So, actually, we'll go there, then there. There, 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 down this way. I do a zigzag pattern, I guess. Sort of. <laughs> Go back this way, I guess. Now notice you'll start seeing buildings pop up. That depends on the cargo supply of the town. If it's being supplied with cargo from a nearby industry, it will automatically adjust. There we go. That's your bus line. It's a little confusing to, from what this bus line I made, but it will start supplying passengers nonetheless. St. Maws? Okay. There we go. Once again, build five vehicles. At least, that's what I do. So, looks like we have a actual bus that we can use, so. Those, one, 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 one. Whoops! Now, there's something you'll notice. These vehicles are not meant to go there, so pause that and immediately send them to the depot. Uh, 
All right. Now this that will be a quick fix because I'll just immediately whip around. I'll click fast forward and I'll just looks like that guy's still going, but yeah, it's heading for the depot. Just gonna whip around and go the other way. So let's go St. Mars line. I these little color coded lines will be a little difficult for. Sometimes, I mean, that's the first time I've ever done that with this game. I've actually never mixed up any of the lines. So, there we go. That's better. So now you got your two lines. Now, you need to build your passenger line. Before that, we're probably going to need to um, get some more loans. There we go. And now, what you're gonna do is set up your pa rail, passenger rail line. So, immediately start building. You want to make this as fast as possible because the um, the game has a 20 minute limit on passengers. And um, if the train takes longer than 20 minutes, it immediately oh, it immediately thinks that um, you're not that the passengers will immediately go off the train. And occasionally you'll get these little segments where um, there'll be just bridges, but I mean, I love when I can just build the um, section as a um, hill, but of course that always can't be the case because it's too costly on regular gameplay to do that. Now, sometimes you'll come across this kind of section. Just simply build the crossing. For instance, there. And build the second crossing as kind of tight as you can get without getting, well, getting a decent speed, so. There we go. Kind of loops around, but it's what I can do. Now parallel tracks are very easy to do. All they got, all you gotta do is drag them across the so same side as your other track. And doing s switches like this, it's fairly easy. Of course, you'll run into a switch like that. Fuck me. There we go. Now maximum minimum speed is 28, so always be careful of where you build these junctions. See, like curves will be a little bit more tricky. Because one section will be 75, all the others like 30. So. Alright. Let's go back over here for a second and parallel this track. We don't have an issue with this later on. Whoopsie. There we go. Did not want to use all that money for building that bridge. Okay, there we go, turning around again. On the road again! Hey. And then you'll run into like these tunnels. There, you see, that's a little more costly than building a tunnel, so recommend building the tunnel every time. And, but you'll also run into problems when building those tunnels of um, an issue where the track has a slope to where the terrain will not align with the tunnel. So right now we've got a clear section there, so and there we go. Now what you want to do is scope out a section for well first I gotta make my crossovers here. You wanna scope out a section for your depot. Now again, there's some mods for like roundhouses and whatnot. But um, they again low, don't allow you to get achievements. So we'll do here because it's relatively open. There we go. Now what we're gonna do is a Y section of track. So this will be it'll be like this. 
Now this one, this section of the track, you don't have to have necessarily a fast speed, but it kind of helps. Oops. There we go. And there you go. Little Y section, a little sloppily done, but I can't help it. There we go. Now, place the depot like this. This is the only way you can build depots. In Open TTD, you can place them down like anywhere on the map without having them have, be connected to a track. And this one is a little different. Now, to make sure, sometimes you'll have trains trying to just go straight as quick as they possibly can. Try and build waypoints at sections of the track where they won't be able to use the crossovers as kind of a shortcut. You don't really want these trains to try and take shortcuts as much as possible. If you want Tra all the trains to sort of go they want you want them to pass each other now build your signals um, for I believe that the driver side is this side where the signal is so this is where the way American signals are placed but um, depending on like European your areas of Europe or whatnot you sometimes will have um, different signal placements depending on where you place them. Now, in game, I think colored signals come about 1930 or 1940, somewhere around there. So, once the stuck colored signals come in, you can actually um, start running them around. So, once again, build your passenger line and um, if you get like for, for instance here here we got this section all you gotta do is click on the waypoint now you can do this with signals too but um, I, I prefer to do it with signal waypoints as much as I can and now we do Wimbledon we named the line Wimbledon Wimbledon. I kept name these lines wrong. Dash St. Moore's. Smell vinegar. Alright. There you go. Finally, we end this video by building our passenger train. Now we gotta click that out first. Put this out by trains, and um, net, you want to build the fastest train. So this one has a 31 mile an hour speed limit. This one is 25. So build this one. You want to keep these trains as fast as possible. And looks like our best bet would be using this car. But I'm gonna put this car in two of these cars and one of this car. It's a bit odd, but. Well, it kind of helps. And there you have it. That's how to set up a passenger network in Train Fever. Like and comment down below. Subscribe if you want more. And I'll be here waiting for your next chance to, to help you guys out on Train Fever. See you guys later.